Hello Wells Isos here. I'm bringing you something a little bit different this time. I have been labbing up a... Uh, it's not a devious trap or anything, it's just like a cool little idea that I came up with for a possible like puzzle or combination lock. So as you can see here I have four hollow cubes in front of me. Each of these hollow cubes is blocking a warmonger through the glass here. If I pop one of these, they'll start running. And because of the way I've set up their paths, if I pop them in the right order, I'll actually be able to kill a bunch of warmongers behind the block at the end past the gen mat. So to show you what that looks like, I'm gonna, the correct order in this case is set up right to left. So let's pop the, the rightmost one. He starts running, comes to here, gets killed by this uh, piston, dies and blows up that piston. Which means that when I pop this one, this one will run to here, and when he'll stop, so that he could potentially get killed by that piston, if it wasn't already destroyed, but it already is, so he moves on to the next one, and does this. Each one of these is set up to walk to a different piston, but stopping at each piston along the way. So this one's set up to walk to the third one. So they stop for about five seconds. Well, I count it to five because the whole piston rotation takes something like 3 point something seconds. And the reason I'm using warmongers is enforcers actually... Enforcers bounce too far if they're hit on the edge of the, de of the death piston. So if I used enforcers, which were, you know, similar price, they just bounce too far. And this one, yep, this is the last one, this is the correct combination. Drops down into there, dies, and now if I pick up this, and wait for this to thing, all these warmongers are dead. Now showing that this is the only combination that works, so if I was to pop this in a different order, let's go three first. You also don't want to pop them too close together because that'll mess up this, but that's kind of why I've got the glass here, so you can see it. It's not strictly necessary, you could work it out from trap backfire messages. This one, this guy will stop here, because he's the one that's set up, he's the one that should have been clicked first. And if I go pop this one now, this last guy runs off, stops here, this one's already gone, so he'll get to the next one, get to here, stop here, get to the next one, and he gets killed by this one because the trap, because the the one that was supposed to blow this up died to the first one, because the first one was pressed in the wrong order. Anyway, so now when I pick up this, I have to deal with these warmongers. It's pretty easy with the demo cannon, but this is just a proof of concept for the idea. I was thinking you could set up multiple of these and like completely disassemble your own kill box with the correct puzzle combinations, which could actually be quite an interesting idea. Anyway, let's go back to buildings. So, so yes, yeah, so as I said, mas uh, masquerade hollow cubes. But if we go up to the top bit, which is the part we haven't seen yet. We've kind of seen it, because we can see it through the glass, but we've got four Deadman Switch Warmongers. They are running down in these ramps so that they get as close to the hollow cubes as possible. Hollow cubes with Masquerade, because they don't want the guards to clip into them, have a, the Masquerade blocks them from walking in just a little bit sooner than the actual view of the hollow cube. So... They're actually just a little bit bigger, so they can actually work through tiny gaps like this. So yeah, each one of these is set up, as I've already mentioned, they're all set up to walk to a different piston with the one that I... the la, uh, with the order that they are supposed to be clicked is the order that they run. So this one, because it's the first one, only runs to the first piston. This one runs to the first and then the second. This one runs to the first, second, and third, and this one runs 
basically the whole way through the corridor. And these these pistons, nothing special here. No mods. And then just at the end, I just needed a way to kill the warmonger. There are plenty of ways to do this, but the this is the most consistent with ragdolling, I feel. Just, you know, two corrosion cubes. So he just drops down here, lands here, and all these warmongers, because they're pathing through this, will all be stacked here. So they all die. I'm sure there are different payoffs you could do with this to change it up and make it slightly different and maybe more interesting, but this is the one that I came up with initially. So yeah, combination or puzzle lock built with hollow cubes. So I hope you've enjoyed. I will see you in the next one, which will, is still the guide which for Arc Barrier, which will be coming out on the weekend.